Welcome back to Insurmountable. We just played as this scientist, so let's cycle back around to the adventurer, I suppose. So this one has a bonus for the adventurer. A mountain with expansive terrain, a large area of the mountain is located in the death zone. Okay. Normal weather, rough terrain. The terrain on this route is very challenging. Oh, what that actually means is 10% more energy cost and time cost on all terrain. Okay. Hmm. So if a large part of it's located in the death zone, then I'm definitely going to want an oxygen mask for sure. Did I unlock a high quality? Oop. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I pressed the reset button. Dang it. Oh well. Yeah, this these buttons to me look like page. Like, you know, page to the right, page to the left, which is why I clicked it. But no, it's these. Ah. Anyway, um... Okay, there's no high quality oxygen mask unlocked yet. We did get a, get a couple pieces of new high quality equipment though. From the last mission. High quality climbing gloves is one of them. Oh, and then high quality fur gloves. Just go with the oxygen mask. I think I want high quality snow boots again. I definitely want a flashlight. That leaves us 30. Perhaps I will take high quality fur gloves. Yeah, I'm happy about that. If a large part of the mountain is in the death zone, I'm really going to need to focus on getting oxygen canisters. Oh, there's so many events right around me. But yeah, the death zone is... Where is it? Right about there. Explore. Use my flashlight. Nice. Canned food. And a bandage already. Oh yeah, controlled breathing is definitely going to be the way to go because we're so worried about oxygen in this mission. And I gotta remember to use my abilities now that I've unlocked Master Climber. I think I can use these at the same time and I don't think using one has anything to do with the cooldown for the other. So, like I might as well just use them. There's no reason not to use less energy cost on all terrain unless I'm about to sleep. Of course, my body temperature is perfectly fine, so I guess there's not really much of a reason to use sprint. I'll wait a little bit and then I'll start using them. Ooh, control center. Oh, a snarl coming from inside. That's the freaking puma. Yeah, let's get clawed by a puma. Why not? We got some tea out of it. And I don't think we actually did get clawed. Or we would have lost some health. I think I'm going to ignore those over there. Go get this. Hmm. Oh, an abandoned camp, and there's a couple of empty oxygen bottles. I think last time I searched, I got two oxygen bottles out of this, which I really want right now, so thoroughly search the dents. Oh, I found nothing useful. Get more stuff for waking up? Sure. Now temperature is a concern, so let's sprint. Hmm. Let's get warmth back. Oh, that's a dead end. Let's 
stop, 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 stop. It's going to be a nasty route regardless. Oh, there's an oxygen bottle in a crevice. Oh no, it's under a thick layer of ice, rather. Hmm. I wonder if the oxygen mask could be a high quality one. Let's stick toward the oxygen bottle. You can barely feel your fingers anymore, but that doesn't stop you from digging farther. The cold creeps up your arms into your shoulder and then your chest. Finally, you feel the smooth oxygen bottle in your hands and pull it towards yourself. Nice. Ooh, controlled breathing too, definitely. Very worried about oxygen. over here. The goat! Oh, and a puma's nearby. We get to save the goat. Help the goat. Success! The puma ran away. Climbing axe and a moon herb. Um, I'll take the climbing axe instead of the flashlight. Mostly I want the flashlight for its use in events. I don't really need the light radius all that much. Uh, tons of events, but no caves. No, I think that's the nearest cave. Which we actually could make it to that. a tent in a rocky hollow what remains of one there's slashes in it mm. let's thoroughly investigate didn't find anything well oxygen is above 60 12 percent less time cost that'd be nice oh i'm about to hit a ton of events though so explore the mountain will give me 75 percent more experience let's get that it's, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's like eight. There's like eight events in this little valley. And a lot of bad terrain. Fresh snow is piled high ahead of you on a mountainside. Oh, and there's some tea. I don't have the energy to dig. So I can either just take the tea or continue. Let's just continue. Let's get back energy. Gigantic footprints. Mm, let's carefully climb into the crevice. Oh, we found a body. Lose some sanity, gain some experience, and we get some snow boots. Which are worse than our current ones. I'll keep them just in case I can trade them. The shrine... 
Let's get back energy. Pile of garbage. Hmm. Let's jump down there and search through the garbage. Wait, why did we lose some oxygen? I'm going to read this. There's human excrement mixed in here. You gag as you pull the half decayed head of a goat. Okay, that's the same as before. Finally, find an old backpack. You're unlocked. The equipment is still intact. Maybe we lose oxygen just because it was hard work. <laughs> I'm not sure. But high quality climbing axe. Nice. Hmm. Our sanity is... It has taken quite a hit, so maybe I'll get mindfulness. When you reach a point of interest, gain three sanity. A ruined station. Search through the rubble. Um, found a body. We decide to turn back and we lose some sanity. Let's get back sanity. That's much harder to get back than warmth. You have a cave over there, conversation over there. Oh, that is completely impassable. Oh no! Injured leg, 30% energy cost on all terrain. And we have diarrhea! Oh, you only just managed to pull your bands down in time to empty your bowels. Oh, I have an herb! Yes! Let's chew on the herb. Oh, we get experience for that. Mm, we get more stuff for waking up. Yes. This is new. In a deep pit, you discover the half-decayed cork carcass of a goat. It must have fallen into the pit and been gored by the sharpened stakes at the bottom. Poor thing. There's no doubt about it. This was a trap. You squint down into the pit. It looks like there's something pinned underneath the goat. Hmm. Let's climb into the pit and inspect the carcass. You sit on the edge of the pit and carefully lower yourself down until you feel firm ground under your feet. Breathing through your mouth, you drag the carcass slightly to one side. Only then do you realize that the goat is wearing a harness, the kind you'd usually find on pack animals. You search the saddlebags and find some equipment. Your sadness over the goat's fate gives way to gratitude tinged with joy. Thank you, goat. High quality crampons. Oh, less energy cost on ice. Hmm. I feel like we travel on snow more than ice. But perhaps I'll remember to put those on if we go for a long stretch of ice. Likely I'll forget, though. That's the only way there, isn't it? Can you not go that? No, you can't go that way. Not sure if it's worth making my way around to the campsite. I'm gonna burn so much energy just getting there, but... Eh. It will be nice to sleep off the injured leg. That's probably why I'm burning up so much energy getting there.
follow the smell. Oh, we got some sanity and XP. Sleep long. Sanity for reaching a point of interest? Or do I want less time cost while auction is above 60? Let's get mindfulness. And our achy breaky leg is repaired. I really want to put my flashlight on just so I can see better. Storm plus nighttime makes it very difficult to see. Oh, we can sneak through here. Yeah, let's do that. We're ultimately heading there. Glacial cave, we get a bunch of sanity back. It might be worth it going over there. Actually, that's probably not the best route. No, that's a horrible route, Jesus. But maybe it's not actually worth going over there. I think I burned so much energy. I want to get up there, which means, okay, we, there is a route. It's kind of awkward, but there is a route. Actually, it's really awkward. It's a dead end, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Christ. Oh, no. Wait. Oh, hold on. There's a little hidden camp. Oh, there's two hidden campsites. Do I have the energy to get there? <laughs> oh, no. No, I don't. Wait, don't I have food? I do. Let's 
get this one first. Sleep long. Explore the fault, use my flashlight. We get safety rope. Ignore dangerous terrain for a time. Let's sleep briefly. some sanity and some time but that wasn't too bad Use my flashlight. Bandages. Guess I'll sleep long. There's yet another cave. So many caves around here. There's another one up there. Although this kind of looks impassable. Wait, no. There's a way up there. Mm, leave the stranger alone. And sleep briefly. Get back energy, I guess, because I don't need health at all. Gonna go over some dangerous terrain, so let's use safety rope and my abilities. Because it's a quite a steep climb. the stranger alone.
Let's get back sanity. Oh, there's an, yet another place to sleep down there. I think I'm going to ignore that one. But let's get this one. I have a little bit of my safety rope left. Yeah, rack up those dangerous terrain crossings. <laughs> Explore the tunnel, use my flashlight. Oh, another oxygen bottle and some food. Okay, I think I need to toss some stuff. Snow boots, bye bye. Low quality climbing axe. I don't think I need to toss that, but I just want it out of the way. Sleep long, I guess. So we're most of the way through the night. Double experience gain in events, sure. tent I'm going to gain temperature regardless of which one I do thoroughly search the tents I guess ooh 20% less energy but our sanity is affected hmm I'm going to wear it for now, because we're about to do a really steep climb. We have a storm. Energy cost for climbing increased. Yeah, there's our goal. I feel like there's going to be a lot of dead ends here, so... a little bit so I can actually see up. Let's take that route, just so I know I won't hit a dead end. There's a campfire. It's emitting smoke, so someone was there recently. So I'm not going to search the tents. Let's just continue.
In a deep crevice in the rock, hidden behind some shrubbery, you find a fur pouch. It looks like it might have belonged to a hunter. Uh, search it. You're in luck. The pouch contains provisions. Wait, this isn't the one where some dude chases me with a knife in the night, is it? I mean, surely they just dropped it. They wouldn't be coming back for it? Oh no, it's the trench full of bodies that have spots all over them. Oh. Let's just continue my journey. Hopefully I won't get afflicted if I don't search it at all. Follow the noise. Use my flashlight. We get a red flare pistol. Nice. Sleep long. Yeah, our sanity is not good. Ah, move carefully. We lose some more sanity. Oh no. Oh, this is a horrible climb. And we're entering the death zone. Hmm. I'm tempted to mend my wounds just to get sanity back, but I think I want the energy cost decrease so I don't have to stop. Okay, I don't want to sleep here. And I can't search it, so let's just leave. It's going to be daylight, so I'll finally be able to see where the heck I'm going. Strange tracks. Follow them. The tracks lead you to a cave. A steaming kettle hangs over a fire pit. Next to the fire sits a figure draped from head to toe in animal furs. A hermit. Could this be your bear? Uh, give him a flask of tea. The hermit gazes stoically into the fire, his face obscured by a wild thatch of beard. He ladles the contents of the kettle into a bowl and hands it to you. The stew has a strong odor that stings your nostrils. You can't help thinking that if you're not careful, you might wind up in that kettle yourself. Eh, eat some of the stew. You have no idea what you're eating, but it's doing you a world of good. You thank the hermit for his hospitality, but he won't make eye contact with you. He returns to the fireside. You, you decide this is a good time to head out. Get our energy back. Less time cost on all terrain. Let's get that. Wait, is that... Oh, I gotta go down. Still, I think it's worth it. Because I have a pretty good chance of being able to get sanity from that. Health or energy? Well, I guess energy then. Oh, 
Let's use safety rope. I'm not going to sleep here, but maybe we can explore it. Revenge of the Hermit? Question mark? What? Wait, why would the Hermit get revenge on me? What did I do to them? I gave them tea. Gusts of snow pelt your face as a bear rears up in front of you. A glowing aura surrounds the creature and it gestures at you to follow it. For a moment, you wonder if you've gone insane, or maybe the Hermit poisoned you and now you're suffering the consequences. It's also possible that you're long dead and the bear is guiding you into the afterlife. <laughs> follow the bear. So you have been poisoned? This isn't quite the way you thought you'd go. You always figured you'd wind up buried under an avalanche or crushed by a boulder. A proper mountaineer's death. You look around. The bear stops near some shrubbery. Behind it, you can just make out the mouth of a cave. You cast about for some sign that you're in the afterlife. Nothing. But you do find some very real equipment. Your heart swells with gratitude. Oh, thank you, bear man. Oh no, are we going to lose all of our sanity? Pretty much. We're almost out. We have like 0.4 sanity left. Oh Christ, we have a high quality hiking staff, which is good for flat terrain, which is not what we're encountering right now. I hope this cave gives me some sanity back. Follow the light. Yes, sanity. A very small amount, but it's sanity. If I sleep, will I get sanity? No, I'll lose sanity. Screw that. I have nothing I can do to help with sanity, right? Well, I could use the flare pistol and hope I get something. St. Bernard! Search the bag. Ah. Well, the level up might help, but these items don't, unfortunately. But thank you so much, doggy. Mm. I need room. What do I use? My temperature is maxed, so I don't even need the hot tea. I don't need three bandages. I don't need hot tea. This is interesting. I think I might actually take it. You get two sanity per hour when moving, but you lose two sanity per hour when resting for 16 hours. I'm pretty high on energy, so I think I can keep moving. So I think I'm going to take this. I might actually gain. Will I gain sanity by moving? No, I'm still losing it, but just slightly. I can use my abilities. Maybe now I'll gain it. No. Right. Well, I'm on ice at this point, so I'll put on the crab bonds for ice. Our rope is still active. Good. I think I might try to go for that. Yeah, I want sanity. Let's try to go for it. Pathway there is horrible in terms of the terrain quality, but I have my safety rope and I have another use of it for the way back. Oh, it's a hot spring. Sanity! Yes! And a lot of sanity. Thank God.
Hmm. Let's use our safety rope again. spend time here. I'm just going to continue. If I go from there, can I make it there? Yeah. Yeah, there's a pathway across. Elevation, 8,000 meters. A lonely grave. Reflect and pay tribute. Oh, I thought we would gain, like, sanity, but I only lost stuff. Only thing I gained was XP. I guess that's really the only way to go. Weird route. I think I'm going to need the canned food to make it. Is this a dead end? Oh no, it's not. Thank God. Of stuff. Where do we? Oh, that is far away. Oh, that is really far away. That's like where we started, isn't it? Didn't we start like right over here? Okay, well, <clears throat> the route we took to get up here was kind of like we kind of like went this way down into this valley and then kind of around. So I think I want to swing the other way because I need new events to sustain me on the way back. We're almost at 9,000 meters. Yeah, we're going to continue to be in the death zone for a while.
We're going to have to sleep. Gonna stick to ice so my crampons get used. 35% less energy that way. Hmm. You encounter a mountaineer uh, sitting listlessly on the icy ground. He doesn't seem to notice you. Give him an oxygen bottle. We got plenty. He bows and starts to carefully climb down the mountain. Oh, we got some sanity. Good. Yeah, we still have two more bottles left. No problem at all. Oh my god, my energy usage is so low from all the bonuses I have. Master Climber, Snow Crampons, etc. That it literally doesn't cost energy for me to move. Look at this. Literally doesn't. It's free. That'll probably go away once Master Climber's gone, though. No, it's still free. Oh, the man here you helped earlier catches up with you. He notices your injury and offers you some healing herbs. If you mean my mental injury, yes, please give me herbs. You eat the herbs and feel the strength returning to your body. The mountaineer nods and leaves without a word. Oh, it's not the item herbs, it's story herbs. It healed me, but I didn't need it. Oh well. Hmm... Less time cost on all terrain. That will have the effect of saving my sanity, so let's get that. Wait. Wait, something's weird. Even when I'm not moving on ice, it's still gonna not take energy? Wait, no, now that one takes energy. Weird. I don't... I don't get it. Anyway, I'm going to try to scoot to the side so I can hopefully catch some new events because right now I'm kind of just retracing my steps. Okay, yeah, now it's taking energy. I don't, what event just happened to make it now take energy? I don't get it. Master Climber disappeared a while ago. You encounter a slope filled with rubble. Even your very first step into it sets off a mini landslide with stones rolling out from under your feet and down the mountainside. Hmm. Try to find a different path. Okay, we're fine. I think it'd be better if I switch to snow boots now, actually. Let's go down this way. Yeah, now it's taking serious energy to travel.
Oh, we're about to be out of the death zone. Nice. Awkward to get over there, but I really do want to head over to this side. Again, I want new events on my way back. Don't want to retrace my steps. But I'm gonna have to sleep. So let's get out of the death zone while I sleep. Sanity is awfully low again. Oh yeah, this whole thing's a dead end. I think I have to go up. Oh Jesus, really? Okay, it's a horrible route. It's a chest. Um, do I want to spend all that energy digging it out? No. Oh, my sanity. Oh, it's so bad. Hold on. Stop, stop, stop. Use my abilities. A dome. Take a closer look. Maybe I'll find an herb. Oh my god, I did find an herb. And it was going to hurt my sanity, but it couldn't because I didn't have any. <laughs> Pro strats, you can't become insane, or you can't become more insane if you're already insane. Ah, 20 sanity. We're on ice, switch to the crampons. Oh yeah, that's where we started. It is very close to where we started. Follow the noise. Use my flashlight. We get some tea. I'm definitely going to need more energy if I want to actually make it anywhere. I'm going to sleep briefly. Oh, energy cost for climbing increased because of the storm. No boots again. I think this will be out of the death zone. Yeah, definitely. And then we can sleep out the storm. 
Hmm. Why am I losing sanity so fast? Maybe I shouldn't sleep. I think I shouldn't sleep. My sanity's too low to sleep. Ooh, that's all a dead end there. Oh, my sanity is about to disappear. Shit. I feel like insects have gotten into our snowsuit. Scratch myself or take off the snowsuit. Scratch myself. And it hurts. Let's use a bandage. Search the case. I don't need boots. <laughs> oh, I need herbs. Fuck. What is the closest event? Ooh. That. Oh, I thought this was the stranger for a second. It's the same image as the stranger, but it's... No, it's we think someone's following us. Paranoia. 30% time cost on all terrain. Ugh. Scratch myself under the snowsuit, we get hurt again. Bandages again. Oh Jesus, funeral procession. We get paranoia again. Okay, come on, please, please, please. Please give us sanity, I beg you. Yes! Oh my God. See if we can get some, like, herbs here. We're out of the critical zone, but we're not comfortable. Hmm. Thoroughly search the tents. I found some snow boots. I don't need snow boots. I'm putting those right in the garbage. Increase sanity gain per hour when moving, but I'm going to have to stop in just a second because I'm pretty much out of energy, so I'm not taking that. I guess under the stars, because this one is actually going to reduce my sanity, so no. Perhaps this... An injured mountaineer. Oh, I can't treat him because I've already oh, used up all my bandages. Fuck. All I can do is search through his provisions, which does not make me happier. Hmm. 
guess we go sleep and lose more of our sanity. Mm. Turn around, take a detour. Lost a little bit more sanity from that. Follow the smell. Oh, we get some sanity. Yes. Sleep. I might as well sleep long. I like I need the energy. I'm not going to get anywhere if I don't have energy. Hmm. Oh, there's a bunch of events there. So, can I, is it not a dead end? No, it's not a dead end. Heavy boots for now. Man, that's a lot of bad terrain. Man, this mission has gone, like, so well in everything but sanity. Everything else we've been great on. Like, temperature has never been an issue at all. I've pretty much always been maxed. Snowshoes. Yeah, we are micromanaging now. Crampons. Our sanity's about to run out again. There it goes. Fuck. Oh. Mm. Scratch myself under the suit, we get hurt again. Do I really not have anything? Anything. Ah, nothing. hearing voices. Oh, we lose more health. Oh, but we gain sanity? <gasps> we gain some sanity. Our health is dangerously low, but... Okay. That's something. And maybe we have a trade thing up here. Maybe we can trade for herbs. I will trade literally anything for herbs. Whatever you want, you can have it. Even my tent. We are... What are we trading? Oh no, it's just an oxygen uh, tank. Ah. Okay. There's plenty of other events here. Rocky slope. Um, take a detour. Goat. <gasps> yes. Help the goat. I think that'll give us sanity. We lose some more health. Holy shit. Okay, that didn't go well, apparently. Screw it, let's just go up here. I don't care if I break my leg. We're quite close to the exit. Yes! 
Okay, that should be enough sanity to get us to the end. Oh, Jesus Christ, our health is low, though. That was really close. Hmm. I don't want to give this a try, because if I take damage, I might die. Let's ignore it. Okay, see, thing is, any of these yellow ones might kill me. They literally could kill me. Is that the only way up? Like... No, you can go that way. Are there any... events? Over there? There's a sleep. That's not gonna heal me, though. But there could be items in there. Oh, there's... Um... Yeah, let's just go up here. I really want bandages, because I'm very scared of hitting a patch that might just kill me. Ooh, it's going to spend a little bit of sanity to follow the bleeding of the goat, but let's do it. Get some sanity and we get some herbs, but the herbs take away health, so I'm not using that. I guess I'll sleep briefly just to get some energy back. I need, might need a little bit more energy to get up there. Oh no. I'm gonna have to go through two yellow things to get there. Uh, I think I just have to risk it. Please, 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 please. Okay, it didn't trigger it. Just in case we can get some bandages, follow the smell. No bandages. And we can get there without encountering any more dangerous tiles. Oh. Ooh, that was close. That was so close. Goodbye. Glad to be done with that one. Excellent. You've successfully completed your task. Was it really rough out there? <laughs> yeah. For the adventurer, let's get something that addresses the problem that we just had, which is sanity. Thrill Seeker. You gain plus 2.5 sanity per hour when moving when you're in the death zone. That would have been perfect for that mission. Um, For the scientist... Let's get half a point of sanity per hour when moving on ice like all of these give you different things for moving on different things so sanity when moving on ice 
oxygen when moving on snow and body temperature when moving on stone. These are all good, of course. Um, yeah, let's get that one. And then for the journalist, I'm thinking, let's get plus 20% sanity gain in events. Yeah, I suppose I could spend my other hundred. More max health or more max sanity. More max sanity. I think I'll end the episode there, so I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when we return, there's two more missions left on Mountain 2.